Today we are playing Black Green Delirium versus Angry Hermit. So Mark will be playing Black Green Delirium. Black Green Delirium is a deck that has Emrakul in it. Uh, it costs one less to cast for each card in your graveyard. So it's a Delirium deck. It tries to put lots of stuff in the graveyard. It has ways to do that. Vessel of Nascency, Grapple of the Past. Uh, it's got a bunch of removal. It's got uh, Liliana. It's a ramp deck and a put things in your graveyard deck. And it has you know, discard spells and removal to interfere. It's got Sylvan Advocate, which is one of my least favorite two drops to play against. Tireless Tracker for card advantage. And then um, Ishkana with Delirium is strong. It makes, it makes uh, three extra spiders when it comes into play. And then if they can't attack you, you can just start hurting them with uh, Ishkana's special ability. Kalitis is always nice to have, and one Gear Hulk. So that's that's Delirium. I will be playing an old deck from 2000 that was designed for, by Aaron Forsyth. I believe he designed it for his brother. That was the story I heard. He kind of threw it together hastily, and it turned out to be great. This is a deck which takes advantage of two very strong cards from back then. One was Plow Under, put two target lands on top of their owner's library, so if you resolve that, especially if you resolve that on turn three or something, I mean, that just really sets back your opponent. And it also has Deranged Hermit. You get four squirrels that all get a plus one buff as long as the hermits. So you get four two twos. And then if you get more hermits, then you have eight three threes. You get more hermits, you have 12 four fours. And the way to get lots of hermits is Sky Shroud Poucher, which goes and searches for elves and puts them into play. The rest of it is basically uh, mana acceleration. There's more land uh, destruction with Avalanche Riders, and Massacre was pretty much in every deck at that period. So our experience with these decks is that when Angry Hermit works, it's very strong, and it often malfunctions and just has a bunch of mana ramp and nothing exciting happens. And Black Green Delirium is, usually wins if the game goes long. So that w would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I'd say it's a reasonable one. Yeah. So that's kind of what we expect to happen here. I rolled a 15. You rolled a 20. All right. Well, Delirium goes first. I'll take a mulligan. I'll keep this hand. It's a little questionable. But... Well, I hate this hand, but I'm really afraid to mull to five. So I, I guess I'll, I'm going to keep it. Your turn. Just get with this one. There we go. Forest bird, go. You take a damage, too. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Booming Rush, and I will pass to you. Rishadan Port, Lenore Elf, and anything happened uh, in end step? I'm going to grab full on end step. Okay. A Liliana would have been nice. I'll take the Flighted Bend into my hand. Um, that's like the only thing I can use. Okay. Yeah, that's the only one you can get. So, uh, then during your upkeep, I'll tap down your marsh. Swamp, I will pass turn to you. Okay, we got there. Plow under. I just draw it, drew it. Uh, put the blooming marsh on top first, and then a swamp on top of it. That was lucky because I I just had a bunch of mana dorks and not much to do, but I drew the plow under. Uh, swamp, and then I'll pass around to you. I'll play another port. Play more dorks. End step. Okay. And then during your upkeep, tap both your lands. I don't think I can win this game just by attacking you with land war elves, but uh, I, I'll have to try. I'll play blooming marsh, then I will pass around to you. I have so much mana. I wish I had Dragonlord Atarka in this deck right now. Oh my gosh. Talk about mana. Look at this. Gaia's Cradle. Okay, well, all I can do, sadly, is attack you for two. Uh, during your upkeep, tap down your Blooming Marsh in a Swamp. A Blooming Marsh in a Swamp. Yeah. I will float two mana first. Oh, okay. I'll float a third and play to the slaughter. Oh, nice. Well, I don't care about that. Um, yeah, you just sack a probably a bird. Yeah, I've got red. I'll play it's in Quagmire um, and then I will uh, I'll pass it on to you well we said when the game goes long you usually win we'll see if that turns out to be true that's r red and three to play avalanche riders destroying your hissing quagmire and I will attack for four remind me about that echo cost because I often forget about echo so I attack for four I end the tur end step and then during upkeep I will tap down those two lands again I pull black, black in response. Yeah, I'm gonna grasp the avalanche riders. Riders okay. dies. I won't have to play the echo cost. Forest. I'm gonna play 
traverse the olden mold and get uh, tracker actually okay and it's your turn attack you for two doing your upkeep tapping the marsh and something else yeah uh forest forest tracker that's nice because you don't get the clue yet okay. Okay. arc lightning the tireless tracker yeah i thought you might have that that's really annoying attack you for two and during your upkeep Tap down, Blooming Marsh. You don't really have any double green, so Blooming Marsh and Swamp now is what I'll tap down. Still, you have five turns before I kill you with these elves, so what you really don't want is a deranged hermit off the top. I just need to keep ripping uh, avalanche riders off the top. That's probably what's best for me. I'll play Lighted Pen. I will play Traverse the Olden World again. This time I will get a Sylvan Advocate, um, and then it'll be your go. Avalanche Riders off the top. I can hold you off a of color with my ports. Ah, that's what I should do. So I'll hit. I'll hit a marsh and a and a, and um. I guess I'd probably be more worried about Liliana at this point than another advocate. I think I'm gonna take you off black. I'm going to attack. Block the avalanche riders. And then during your upkeep, I will tap down your two swamps. I will float black, black, black in response. Also. Used one black and one green to play grapple the forest. Yeah, I think I'll get the advocate back. Forest, play a second advocate. You're getting enough lands. Combat it's... hits you with the first one. Uh, it's oh, wait. Four damage. It's, they're, they're big now. Okay. Wow, even then, with all this uh, land destruction, you've really been finding a lot of lands. And it's your turn. <laughs> That's good for you. All right, so I'm going to have to draw something good or I'm going to lose this game. And we found it. One, two, three... Four, five, deranged hermit, and we get some squirrels. All right, two two squirrels. Go ahead. Upkeep. Do you want to do stuff to me or? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna tap down your two black. I'll play a swamp. And. Are oh, you still getting I lands? Will. I'm. I will attack you with the advocates. Okay, that's eight damage. That would put me to six, huh? Could block with a bird. I'm gonna not block. I'm going to go to six. Uh, my turn? You, you get more? Nope. Your turn. Okay. Deranged Hermit Echo Cost. I'll just pay with the Cradle. Draw my card. Play a Forest. Avalanche Riders. I'll hit your Swamp. I'm dead on field. Turn it sideways. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Woo! Okay. It was the Ports that won you that game, really. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was a hard keep because Ports was all I had for a really long time. But that plow, I got plow under and deranged, deranged hermit that game. Those are my, those are my best cards. And guys, cradle. My sideboarding is pretty simple. All right, you're on the play. Okay. Game two. Can I make this work? I guess I keep this. Yeah. Forest. Go. Forest bird. Your turn. Missing back mark. Go. Carpluzin forest. Ruffalos. Lanowar emissary. Your turn. Swamp. Pick the brain. I got a non-land card from your hand. All right. Good time for that. Spell. I think I get the Bow Wonder. Seems slightly worse than the Blastoderm for you. Uh, is this exiled? Uh, yeah, exiled. Yeah, it's gonna get exiled. Actually, Blastoderm lasts for kind of a long time, though, but. You can chump it. It's your turn. You interfered with my perfect plan, so backup plan here. Attack you for two, and then Blasto. Your turn. And Blastoderm has fading, which is different than vanishing. If you can't remove a token, sacrifice it. So even when it has no or counters, when it, even when it has no counters on it, it sticks around for the tracker. tracker. And I'll play Blooming Marsh, which comes in tapped, and I'll get a clue. All right. Okay, we're gonna go for. I attack with Blasto. You take five. Okay. I'll play Treetop Village. And then I plow under. I drew another one. So I'm gonna put. Your Blooming Marsh first, and then your Hissing Quagmire on top. My turn? Yeah. I will play the Quagmire, get a clue, and then use the Tomb Mana to sack the clue and draw a card. So you got both lands back. So next turn you'll start to see a new card. I'll draw. This deck's having a pretty good run. Play a land. So yeah, we're going to go... I'll use the, actually the Birds of Paradise for Avalanche Riders. Uh, I'm going to destroy Hissing Quagmire. And we're going to attack you with all three of these. 
I mean, I block the avalanche riders off, obviously. Um, and you take eight. Your turn. So I'm a little fourth. I'm going to get another clue and play Flaying Tendrils. Um, Flaying Tendrils. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, gets Not rid of... Probably two levels of late. Gets rid of these. Th that keeps you alive, though. Yeah, for a turn, but I'm going to be at, like, two life or something like that. Okay, go. my turn. You have to block. I remove the last counter. I attack with Blasto. I block. You block it. And you're not going to be happy to see this. Yep. Okay, deranged hermit. Four, two, two squirrels. Your turn. Epic tactic time. Kind of need. Flaying tendrils. tendrils. Has to be another flaying tendrils. Ah, uh, that's a turn too late. So if you had back-to-back -back flaying tendrils, you would totally stabilize. I would have nothing on board. Well, I'd have a treetop village, but... Yep, I'm dead. I got Lost Legacy, which is in there to remove all copies of Hermit from your deck. Too late, it's right. Oh, so if you had... Yeah, but you didn't have time to play that because you were... You're just the way alive. the deck needs to win. You're just keeping me off my mana base. This is like turn six and I have three <laughs> lands. <laughs> turn one, you kept drawing lands, so you had a you had a hope, but... I kept drawing lands this time, too. I had a lot of lands. I just didn't have any way to get, uh, get to anything. The wow. was really, I should have maybe taken the Blastoderm. That was probably, this might have, like, you, you, you made mis said mistakes in the previous game. I probably should have taken Blastoderm. But then I would have had would two Plow Wonders, because I drew a second Plow Wonder. Yeah, but I still would have been getting my mana, um, and I still would have had, like, a lot more turns. That guy did, like, 10 damage to me, and I had to stack a blocker into him, too. I don't know. I had yeah, I, I had so two Plow Wonders and a Deranged Hermit and an Avalanche Riders. I mean, that, I, I think that's, yeah. that's I mean, it's hard to anyway. beat. Yeah, that's hard to beat. You take the Blasto. I I bounce two lands back. You start to do it again. I bounce two lands back again. And then I get the Deranged Hermit. The thing is, I had a Flaying Tendrils for a long time. Oh, so, right. Oh, so so then you should have taken as, the Blasto. If I'm not as, if I don't have as much pressure because uh, of Blasto not being there, I save that for longer. But you, do you um, ever get the three mana? I mean, <laughs> if I keep probably. playing two plow unders and you have come to play tapped lands all the time that's it's it's, it's it's interesting it fortunately i didn't have a good threat out yeah taking the blasted derm in that the way that played out that would have been better but taking the plow under and me not drawing another plow under means that you're just you can keep adding stuff to the board so you didn't know i was going to have another plow under so it's a little it's a little yeah, hard but to I say i didn't have any threats in hand either so mm -hmm. i mean i knew i didn't have a way of dealing with blasted derm in yeah. any way all right. Well, uh, Black Green Delirium has really bad luck at our tournaments. We keep wanting Good to invite it back because we feel the power. We feel the power of this deck, but it, it just never, it never gets a break. All right, Delirium is out. Anger Hermit advances.